Hey guys, Levi for The Rag Company, and in today's video, I thought I'd dispel some of those uh, myths surrounding the installation of a ceramic coating. So for this video, we're using Diamond Body 36 along with Diamond Body Prep Spray. And we're gonna show you the different intervals of how long after application the product looks, stands, and how hard it is to remove based on the timing. The other products we're gonna be using is we're actually gonna do a couple different versions. One with just an IPA and water mix, and we're gonna be using Coach Kemi's PPS, just to show you why you don't wanna mix certain products together and how it's gonna react. So, starting at the top, we have a control, which is literally Diamond Body Prep, Diamond Body 36, one coat applied properly on this surface. The next panel, we're gonna be using the alcohol mixture along with Diamond Body 36, and I'm gonna wipe off half of it, and I'm gonna leave just a quick wipe to simulate if we left a high spot, so to speak. The next panel is pure Diamond Body Prep and Diamond Body 36, but we're gonna leave it on for the recommended 15 minutes that the box says. The next panel is Diamond Body Prep and Diamond Body 36, but we're gonna leave it all on there for 30 minutes, and I've got a timer going on my phone so we can check and make sure. Finally, down here at the bottom, we got KCX PPS, which is Panel Preparation Spray, and Diamond Body 36, and then the last two boxes, Diamond Body 36, and Diamond Body Prep, but we're leaving it on for one hour, okay? And then finally, we're gonna let it sit for 24 hours on the surface, and the goal is we can also see how hard it is to remove. So, we've got our timer set. This one has been on for about nine minutes. Let me just double check here and make sure. So, we're gonna wipe this one off right now, just utilizing the Edgeless 300 that's in the kit. Now, the current temperature and humidity in this garage is perfect for the application of this product. We're at 74 degrees with 24% humidity, exactly where we want it to be. So, we're gonna grab this towel and we're just gonna wipe off this first coating. So, the next step that we're gonna do is we're actually gonna wait a few more minutes. I've got a couple more minutes left to go and we're gonna do the 15 minute method. So, we're actually gonna knock out this box, this box, and this box. We're gonna see how hard it is to remove. We'll have waited the entire 15 minutes needed. This, we started at about 11, 11 minutes after application to when we removed it. So we'll wait, do the proper 15. Now I will say, I'm in the perfect temperature and humidity to be doing this. If you're in a higher humidity, right? So you're at 40, 50, 60, 70, even 80%, please, please, please do a test spot. Doesn't have to be a lot, just a small section and, and make sure that you're timing yourself. Maybe it's two minutes, maybe it's five minutes. The higher the humidity, the lower the flash time. Does that make sense? So as you go up in humidity, you need to turn that 15 minutes and dial it down. It could be 10 minutes in your area, it could be eight minutes, it could be seven minutes. Product will flash faster with a higher humidity. Have I got a savings for you on this St. Patrick's Day? Not only is the rag company bringing back mystery bags, but we have another little uh, special trick up our sleeves. That's right, we are coming out with a limited edition product from our friends at PNS called Shamrock Shine. You can pick it up here, and it's only available here at the rag company. Now, for those of you picking up a mystery bag, I think you're gonna be pleasantly surprised with just how much luck is gonna be in each one of those bags. And we got some new swag. So head on over to the rag company and pick up these items before the rainbow disappears. All right, so it's been 15 minutes, so we're gonna wipe off the Diamond Body Prep and Diamond Body 36, utilizing this Edgeless 300. And this wipe off is extremely easy. It's not difficult at all to remove. Now, two things that you'll notice. The alcohol has caused this part of the coating to still stay wet. This should have flashed more. We should be seeing something more along the lines of 
down here where we've got, you know, some of the other diamond bodies. This is, this has started to flash a lot more, but this has stayed very wet, which, I mean, if you're looking to buy yourself some time, maybe, I just don't recommend it because that means that the coating isn't actually properly chemically adhering the way it needs to adhere to the surface. So we're gonna wipe it off. We'll see what happens. And uh, we'll also wipe off the KCX PPS next here. Yeah, this is, gosh, you can see this is already, this is more smeary. And you can see I'm kind of pushing kind of pushing the coating as I've been wiping it. It comes off easy, there's no issues, but I'm just worried about the fact that the coating didn't really adhere the same way that these two looked like when they were on the surface. So we'll figure it out. All right, so we'll go down here to the KCX PPS in Diamond Body 36, because like I said, we're still in that 15 minute window. Now this product has seemed to absorb a little more than the alcohol. So it is uh, on the surface at least, which is good. Much easier to remove. All right, so we'll see how those guys do. We're gonna come back in 15 more minutes and we'll remove the 30 minute panel. That's what we'll do next. All right, so it's been 30 minutes. Let's uh, wipe this guy off. Well, I don't know, Jimmy, what do you think? It's not that bad. It, it looks, looks like it came right off. Yeah. Still a little. See, it's a little foggy. But... Yeah, I still got to rub a little bit more to get it off, but not, not hard. I mean, if this was a whole panel, if it was the whole panel, it'd probably be a lot harder, um, just because you'd be having to rub it and trying to make sure it's even. So we're lucky that's it's a little square, but still, 30 minutes, not too bad. All right, 30 more minutes, and we'll hit the one-hour spot. See what happens. All right, so we've been, we kind of fudged the numbers. We actually let it sit for longer than an hour because, I, well, I got a phone call and I couldn't get back to it. So pretty much like a real world scenario, about an hour, 10 in, about hour, 10 minutes are where we're at. So we're gonna try and wipe off the Diamond Body Prep and Diamond Body 36 literally over an hour later. We'll see what happens. I don't know about you, Jimmy, but I can see there is still a lot of the high spot in there. Especially in the bottom right corner. Yeah, it is. I'm having to push a little harder. I'm trying to keep it a little more even to try and remove it. But yeah, you can still definitely see there's lines that are running across there where the product is still on the surface. And along this side here too, there's this, like a nice heavy streak right there. So, one hour is too long. 30 minutes, we were actually able to remove it. Again, we're in 72 degrees with 24% humidity, which is absolutely perfect to be coating in. Uh, hopefully you can get your shop in there too. Next though, tomorrow, 24 hours. So this time tomorrow, we're gonna see how that last one came off. Now, if you get into this situation like the one hour, the remedy is reapply the product and then immediately wipe it off and it should take care of it. And I'm gonna grab some and we're gonna try it just to make sure. Should probably be wearing gloves for this, but this demonstration, we're just gonna knock it out real quick. And it looks fine. 
totally removed it. So it actually worked. So taking the coating, immediately reapplying it, and then immediately wiping it off again, actually removed all those high spots on that one hour time period. So that's super cool. All right, let's check back tomorrow. Okay, everybody, it's been one day. Seriously, you can check the uh, little calendar there. And we have Diamond Body 36 done with Diamond Body Prep first, then the Diamond Body 36, and it is sat for literally 24 hours on the surface of this hood. Now, you can see all the high spots there. We're gonna see if we can get them off. Now we're using the Edgeless 300 that comes in the kit, and let's see what happens. Anthony, you wanna come try and wipe on this? It's still on there. Yeah. Okay, so as you can see, it's not coming off, but we'll try the trick where we reapply it, immediately wipe it off as soon as we apply it. So let's see what we can do. Okay, you ready for this? Got coating on there. Okay. Ah. It's kind of gone in some spots. In some spots it is kind of gone, isn't it, Jimmy? Let's see if we can do it again. Still got a couple little ones here, but dude, we got those high spots to disappear. All right, so we were able to remove the high spots from an entire day, literally sitting on it. Now, granted that's a small rectangle, so I'm sure if you left it on a whole panel, you'd have a, a lot of work ahead. You'd probably have to buy more coating and do that. But the easiest way would have been just to polish it, hit it with a machine, buff the coating off, and then re-coat the panel. So if you get into a situation where you leave a high spot on, my rule of thumb is to always do the whole panel. So if you have it on a fender, I recommend you rebuff the entire fender and then re-coat that section. Now, we did leave a small high spot on this side just to see what it would look like. Basically, I put some coating on and then I gave it one wipe with a towel. That's it, just a swoop and left the rest of it. So we've still got a couple little spots. The lighter stuff evaporated. The high spot actually looked worse when I did it, but over the course of 24 hours, it's lightened up, but we still have a spot here, a spot here, and a spot up here. Oh, and there's one right here. So I'm gonna do the exact same thing. We just have coating on the applicator and we're just gonna apply it and wipe it off. This is the alcohol one. It's acting totally different than the diamond body prepped one. All right, so we did get it off, but I will say it was far more difficult because of the alcohol prep that we used prior to coating this. So I think there is something that happens between the ability for the coating to bond or its ability to be cannibalistic based on the fact that we used something that wasn't designed by Diamond Pro Tech as a prep spray in that section. So in conclusion, a rule of thumb, things to remember. Basically, always use the prep spray designed by the coating manufacturer. Not only will this make it much easier, you're gonna get better coverage, it's gonna go on better. Like I said, the products that we use when we use Diamond Body Prep with Diamond Body 36, so easy to put on and take off. 
The coatings when we put on alcohol or we used KCX's paint protection spray didn't really allow the coating to do what it needed to do in terms of its flashing ability, its actual bonding and adhering properties. So we're gonna go ahead in the future now and we're gonna actually use this panel. We'll leave the tape on and maybe we'll wash it a couple times. We'll see you know, in the, in the future if this stuff stays, which one fails first, all that kind of stuff. Because remember, we're using the same coating on all these different panels. The difference is just the length of time that it has sat. So other thing to remember, if it's hot and humid in your area, it's gonna be a lot harder to remove these coatings fast. So you're gonna to have to do it much quicker. Do not do what the box says and wait 15 minutes. Shorten that window, bring that window down to 10 minutes or five minutes. But if you're in the proper climate, like we were 70 degrees, 20% humidity, we found you could wait up to an hour. It was a little more difficult, but 30 minutes, 15 to 30 minutes was still fine. The product worked. It was able to do its job and it was able to remove off the panel. So rule of thumb, 15 minutes is fine. It works just right. It's exactly what they've called for and asked for. So always make sure that you do a test spot for your job and whatever coating you're using and make sure you do read the directions. And in this case, the directions are spot on. So as always guys, make sure you like, share, comment, subscribe, and uh, stay tuned to see how these, uh, this coating panel holds up right here at the Rag Company YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.